So for those of you that know me, you know, you know that obviously I'm a shorter term trader. I, I go long and short on Bitcoin, but my overall thesis, my midterm thesis is Bitcoin still has more downside to go potentially as low as $20,000 were below, but then long-term, I think it rebounds and you're talking like 500,000, a million dollars potentially on it. And I want to show you where I get this idea from. So okay. let me just erase these lines and I'll show my charts to you guys. And again, initially this is going to scare you guys and I don't want it to scare you guys because I'm going to show you something at the end that will make your day in terms of long-term projections, right? So here's your chart of Bitcoin. And you can see here, you have this little pop here, and then we have this big kind of M top pattern, right? And I, what I like to do, and, and what I've said is that, and you guys talked about 17,000 cryptocurrencies out there, ridiculous amount of cryptos, we need a flush out, right? So I've likened Bitcoin and cryptos to the dot coms. And if you think about it, right, the dot coms were, you know, the internet is brand new, it's so exciting, it's gonna change the world. Same things have been said about Bitcoin and crypto and blockchain. All right. And they're right. They were right about the Internet. They're right around about blockchain. So remember this kind of pattern here. And I want to show you what Amazon looked like back in um, in 1999 to 2000. All right. So we're going to go back to the Amazon chart here. I'm going to flip over to the weekly so we can I can scan back there really quickly. I got I got I got to tell you, Gareth, I got uh, uh, as you get into this before yeah. you say it, I got to I got to say something, which okay. is crypto savvy sends me a DM on Twitter once a week with this Amazon chart showing how accurate it is to what we're seeing today. And it just says, this is your weekly reminder. So he does, he does it every <laughs> single week. So, you know, I had to, he gets credit okay. for it too, but let's go ahead. Let's see it. I haven't shown yeah, it on the yeah, channel, right. but uh, gotta give him a little bit of credit there. Gotta give him credit. And that's yeah. fair. And, and listen, I'm not the only one that sees, but you see the same sort of move up here and then that same M top. And then ultimately, the question is, where are we in the cycle? Are we here with this bounce right now or, or where ultimately? But the point is, it's very reminiscent. There's a lot mm -hmm. of kind of things that match up with the dot coms. Now, what I always like to show people is, so number one, if you look at where Amazon bottomed out, I mean, this is kind of crappy, but, you know, it was at $112. It bottomed out at six bucks. Now, mm -hmm. hopefully that doesn't happen to Bitcoin, but I look mm -hmm. at Bitcoin as being the Amazon of the crypto world, right? I mean, I mean that's, 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 that's pretty that. typical drop for altcoins in a bear market. Yeah, good point. yeah, exactly. Um, so, so now you, you see that and like, you know, putting that into perspective, it means Bitcoin maybe goes down sub 10,000 even, but this is where it gets so exciting. And, and I don't know if your buddy who sends you that weekly reminder does this, but what if we flip over? So remember this M, M pattern here on the chart in 99, 2000. Now flip over to the monthly chart and I want to show you the chart of Amazon and in relation to where um, where it was. So here's your M pattern. See that? And then look at what happens. Wow. So even though, even though, I mean, just putting in perspective, right, how scary the dot-com bubble collapse was, and my, my thesis has always been, you know, be ready for this flush out because you can't have so many crappy, you know, you know, cryptos out there without some sort of, you know, reset, right? But the idea is that, if you get the reset, it's very Darwinian in that the best and the strongest will survive and they will thrive. And imagine if this was Bitcoin, what we're looking back in 20 years and where it's at currently. I mean, it would just be an incredible, incredible result. So I always like to show that because it's it's kind of like you have this midterm kind of maybe it goes down here, but then wouldn't it be the most more remarkable buying opportunity of our lifetimes in really any asset if we got the returns that Amazon gave afterwards?